Hi, welcome to another video on my pneumatic hand robotic arm with compressor, uh, up and down gearbox and pivot gears with motor and switches. The last time I um, changed the setup of the switches the way you see it now with two switches parallel to each other and the parallelity is con uh, caused by the fact that I put um, the two wires on the same motor output then following the wires also on the same motor and in between two different switches and the objective in this case and in this way is to have switches which are now set in the wrong way one switch like this the other switch in the middle and when the pivot uh, comes by there will be switch like this and in this way they will uh, the pivot will change direction clockwise to counterclockwise and vice versa however the way this is organized now and um, the motor is now not engaged to the uh, gears so I can move it freely and you can see that the flexibility I put it a little bit higher the flexibility in these rods is too high and actually they should be like here one here one here and one here because this is not switching in any way this maybe is and this as well uh, but I'm moving this with my arms or one arm in any way and it turns out that the force that is needed um, for this to happen the way these are positioned is not really making its uh, purpose true so I will have to change this setup and probably in a way that uh, I use a building block to push them around in some way for that I will have to reconstruct this part once again and then sliding as well in some way um, I could move them here because this is out of the direction it is an, uh, a possibility but I will have to find out how this exactly goes because the way this is and they have to go over the switch in some way and they shouldn't also uh, the question is if they go over it how much uh, how much distance do they cover because if I put this a little bit up I can go quite some way which is no longer possible when I put uh, it like this then you get very then you get very short ways of uh, turning and I don't know if that is nice anyway uh, enough to think about and construct so um, 
let's start by uh, reconstruction in the way um, that there are two things uh, apart. Okay, one solution that I have found is to use a block like this with two of these two of this part and this gap this gap is just large enough to contain this slider the knob of this slider so when I put it on top it slides back and forth it can't slide uh, it should not slide one further because this falls in the gap so with that reasoning the other one goes here and slides this one uh, this way this looks very nice but it demands a reconstruction here so this goes out and this goes out and the question is of course um, how should I connect this because this is a very tight fit and another problem is also that knowing that this motor is prone to let's say uh, not exactly fitting and easily being uh, disconnected um, the pivot isn't in short the best way of course is to use one um, two uh, one dipole um, DIP OLE um, switch and uh, that makes sure that you can have two uh, poles on distance uh, of two um, of these contacts on distance of each other and they just slide back and forth and pull the switch and here you have a very very short distance um, it's, I can try it of course and let me take this one out as well just have a short uh, block in here oops just for testing and with this one here then you get a very short movement like this well this is of course much nicer but in the current situation I don't uh, have uh, the luxury of um, the large distance so I should uh, fill up and then of course um, somehow engage these blocks when they are fitted here and that's another challenge um, how do I connect them and to what from this side uh, point of view I can connect this one here when I put this block a little bit there uh, well here um, with this block on here I have to extend it a little bit and put it here however when I 
put the camera in this position you can see that this lock is right under it but this one isn't so I need to shift it a little bit and hope that that works out so uh, this one is shifted and needs some thing that holds it And then I use parts that I've used many times before. So in this case I am going to shift in distance a little bit. And that gives a problem here. So I need another part. this part and that may be help but will it and the answer is not really it is just too high unfortunately it is just sliding over but when it's here it works well kind of but the other way around it doesn't so the distance is just off and let me put this one in between see how that works out this one here Yeah, well, it kind no. This way works, and this way, um, not convincingly. So, will this one work? I start to have my doubts. So I take this one off and put the larger one on it uh, I shift this one here it is directly on top of it so maybe if I oops if I use this one instead of this it has the same effect of course and I can use it like this has it the same effect no because it is just too short it just comes short oh I can shift this a bit down does this work point is that now this one should be here and it doesn't click so um, it works kind of but barely
if I would uh, do this by software, I wouldn't be surprised if this doesn't work out exactly the way I intend to. But I can try. So let's do that. Before I do um, the software, I think that this one and this one should be turned around. Because if things go alright, then um, these won't leave these holes. So what I do is I take them out, put them in the other way. and put them back in uh, and the construction should be corrected where they are And then it's the question, is this alright? And unfortunately the answer is no. This combination can't. I have to put them this way. Otherwise this gap, this gap is too small. So my idea cannot be put into action like I thought. So, that is in place, this is in place, let's just give it a try. And hopefully nothing breaks, but it is flexible after all, so I can stop it whenever I like, by even pulling the plug, but I hope it's not necessary. Let's go. That is one. That is the winding of a horizontal motor, a uh, vertical motor I should say. But this one isn't following along. This one did nicely. This one is yet to do something. So what is happening? And then this one should go. Okay, but why doesn't this follow along? I have to pull this one time and again. And this vertical motor doesn't work exactly the way I intend to. Ah, now I notice why. Okay, stop. The sensor has come off. The vertical sensor that makes sure that um, the up-down movement of the arm is done has, has come off. So okay. So I'm pressing it and I stop the program. So now I can put this one again on the place it belongs to. I should be able to. And 
bisschen tight fit. Right. This should work again. This definitely should work. And something else came off, but I'll have to look into that later. So let's start again. Ah, okay, clear. It pushes it out, so that is why. But in the meantime, this doesn't work, so I really need to find a different solution after all. Um, just one short test. And Yeah. I should not uh, have to move my uh, use my hands for it, but I have to. So this solution is not working. And that means also that I have to find a new solution for the down switch of the gearbox. The um, switch of the lower gear has been solved. Um, no reconstruction needed. Just um, put the switch upside down. And that works out. The other thing, concentrating back here, can be solved as well. Taking this construction out and putting this in and at the same time um, making it possible to yeah not ruining anything in the process to try and that may be a little problem have it like this so keeping this the same one and two and trying to get this together Everything slides nicely. The only problem is that this part, um, this part is the only connection between this whole setup and the base of the arm. And this rather, this slides rather easily. So, in this case, everything looks nice, but will it stay nice? That is the question. So, let's try once again. This one didn't hold. Now it goes. Okay, a little bit down. And here you see that the gears slip. And it doesn't hold at all. So, enough already for this attempt. Um, 
slide the motor out for security reasons. Um, I have two weak spots. Um, the connection to the base of the arm and this construction. It simply won't work the way I intend to. And that is unfortunately. So back to the drawing table with um, new ideas or ordering actually a dipole switch. And I think that is the better way to do it. So, without altering the code and doing it mechanically, um, it was a nice try. Ultimately, uh, not the best uh, idea in this way. Maybe I find uh, some other idea using two uh, triple switches. But it's the way it is right now. So, thank you for watching. To be continued as usual and if you like my videos and have not subscribed yet um, please do so then you will get notified when one of my videos is being published